guys, it's Layla. Today I'll speak about abscesses, the different types and features. So starting with the definition, what is an abscess? It is a cavity filled with pus. It consists of an inflammatory infiltrate. It can be acute or chronic. The acute can become chronic and it can be a complicated or non-complicated. Complicated, it is is when it goes diffuse or it ruptures and not complicated when it stays localized. Essentially, you can have an abscess in any part of your body. So you can have an abdominal abscess, a liver one, an anorectal one, brain, pyogenic liver abscess, skin abscesses, even tooth abscesses. It can be anywhere. So I will pick out three um areas and speak about the different kinds of abscesses in that area so starting with the perianal abscesses so you've got the supra levator ones you can have ischiorectal abscesses you can have intersphincteric between the internal and the external sphincters you can also have a perianal abscess now going on to the lung you can have abscesses in the um, apical region upper part or you can have it in the lower part Abscesses are more common in the right um, lungs, in the lower lobe, because the right bronchus is at a higher level than the left and it is more steep. In the breast, you can have abscesses in the retromammary space, in the intramammary space, or in the subareolar superficial space. So in the intramammary, you can have interstitial type or parenchymatous type. So you can see you can have abscesses in the peripheral parenchymal area. You can have it in the central area, in the lactiferous ducts as well. Okay, moving on to the etiology of abscesses. They can be due to an infection, for example, mastitis or pleuritis. In immunocompromised individuals, they're quick to occur. For example, if you have diabetes or if you're on steroids. Basically, what an abscess contains is pus, which is a buildup of fluid living in dead white blood cells, dead tissue and bacteria itself. The structure of the abscess, so it is localized and it is pus covered in a pyogenic membrane. So collagen fiber and granulation tissue form a thickened capsule walling of the area of the focal separative infection. The clinical features of abscess, as you can see in the picture, it is red, raised and painful. This is for cutaneous abscesses. The patient may have high fever and chills. Internal abscesses are difficult to identify because they are inside your body and they do not um, appear on the superficial surface. For the diagnosis, you can do a clinical examination for the superficial or the cutaneous abscesses. Um, ultrasound imaging is also helpful. I'll show you what it look like, looks like on ultrasound. Fine needle aspiration for culture or for drainage. Um, you can do culture to find out which bacteria is responsible. The differential diagnosis can be empyema, cellulitis, necrotizing fasciitis and even sebaceous cyst. The treatment of abscess includes warm compressors and limb elevation uh, for skin ones. Incision and drainage is the main one. So you can do puncture, incision and drainage for most of the abscesses. Recurrent um, needle aspiration, usually for breast abscesses. Antibiotics for the complicated cases, uh, even young, old and immunocompromised individuals. And removing the source is usually for a chronic abscess uh, for example in the breast and usually the cause is due to a duct obstruction so you would remove the duct sinus you drain out the pus and then you clean the abscess cavity sometimes the doctor will pack a gauze and remove it after a few days this will improve healing complications of abscess you can have direct spread to adjacent areas for example if you have um, a cholecystic abscess you can get a subhepatic abscess rupture which can lead to bacteremia or even sepsis which is very dangerous life-threatening a space occupying lesion it can be, uh, show compressive symptoms 
fistula formation as well. In this picture, you can see that initially there is an, uh, an infection in the perianal region and then it becomes an abscess. When this abscess enlarges or becomes um, a bit diffuse, it forms a fistula. Okay, now here are some questions you can test yourself. Okay, that is it for this video, guys. Take care. Bye.